What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with a massive box video and it is a special one because this is a ton of custom WWE action figures, man. This entire box is completely full. It is very heavy. It is very massive and it should be a nice trip down memory lane as we're going to dive into this massive box of custom WWE action figures. And I have to unbox these anyway, so I figured why not make a video out of it as we unbox this. And if you guys want to see bigger, you know, the, like taking every figure out of each individual box and go like one by one through the, the collection here. As it is loose here in the office, you guys can let me know about that. All the stuff is still constantly moving, of course, but I didn't, I don't know why I didn't. Like I knew it would be a task, man, but Jesus in heaven. Nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up. I do have to take them out of baggies each time, but I will skip that part for you guys so you don't have to sit there and see me undo 888 Ziploc baggies. Now let's just shut the hell up and get into it. Buckle the hell up, man. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the custom WWE figures. So we're starting off with a very nice one, man. We have this Legends Target Exclusive Hall of Fame Elite Eddie Guerrero in the pink. It does have a little bit of chipping there, and I don't know how because it just sits on the shelf, so I guess it just falls the hell off, but this is a custom fantasy gear that I made one day, and I, I, I love this figure. It's pretty sweet. Next up is a very interesting one. We have the custom Teddy Roosevelt Elite in the suit here. This kind of all manifested from 2K like, oh Jesus, man. I don't even know, like 2K19 maybe? It may have even been before that, but I made a stable, the Founding Fathers, George Washington, Abe Lincoln, and Teddy Roosevelt, and I wanted to bring it to figure form, and you guys know George Washington is the GOAT, so there's this figure. Next up is my WrestleMania 34 Randy Orton, I think that's what this is. I made this the night of the event. He's got like a really cool like bronzish orange gear. Really thought we'd get this from Mattel, but I'm actually quite impressed with the way this one came out. Made this one myself. It's even got the knee pads in there. How the hell did we not get this from Mattel, man? I, I have no idea. I think he won the U.S. title that night for like five seconds. Next up is a really awesome one, man. We have this white fantasy gear Randy Orton right here made by BEW. This thing is clean. I think I'm going to put this guy on surgery and redo something. You know, we do have the Elite 91, but that gray, black, and white, I, this is a fantasy gear of mine that I made. I think it's better than the Elite 91 or Elite 90, whatever the hell that was so it was elite 89 i can't remember I, I, who gives a hoot white tape beautiful yeah I, I think i could switch the head sculpt and do some different things here but this is a free i love this figure next up we have a pick fed custom we have the kevin owens live because he was over on mdt live the pink brand so i made this like custom kevin owens here man i miss making like customs very consistently like painted stuff like this and like different stuff like that man hopefully i can find the time soon like i'll, I'll do little stuff here and there that i have to keep secret most of the time but it's still nice to to you know just Sit back, relax, and enjoy some old classic stuff. Now, this is one that they got to do from Mattel, man. The, the uh, WrestleMania Money in the Bank first ever Money in the Bank winner with Edge here in the, the, the... We've gotten this in basic form, but this is all hand-painted by Showstopper Custom Figs. Beautiful looking figure right here, man. He's even got the sculpted boots. This is how his boots should look, you know. God, what a beautiful figure. He's even got the classic black briefcase from Jack. This is a stud muffin right here. I don't know if I'll ever get rid of this piece. Next up, we have the Elite 91. RBD Tiger Stripes in the pink. So I did do this myself here. It's pink. It's got the fade into the white there. It's pretty much just the Elite 91, except it does have pink instead of orange. I thought it was a pretty cool thing. And that figure is like one of my favorite Mattels of all time is the Tiger Stripes Elite RBD. Next up, we have my Cash and Edge. Now, this is from New Year's Revolution, and this is pretty sweet here. I think we've also seen this in basic form. Maybe not, but I like this figure. Also made by Showstopper Custom Figs. It's got a little bit of paint chip because it is kind of old. He's got the boots in there. Again, they are sculpted on there man this this figure is a beast oh man these are like some of the OG customs on the channel. Next up, we have a throwback Batista. Not too crazy. I think it's like 2003 Batista in like the silver and maroon. Very clean here, but it is hand painted. I don't remember who made that. This one isn't even a custom. It's just the Chase unreleased RVD right here. And this is not a custom. This is the real deal here, Brad. So if you zoom in there, this is the real deal. This is uh, a huge shout out to my man Pro Wrestling for the hookup on this figure, man. All stock right here. I want one men on car, but this is a beautiful piece. I put it in a Ziploc bag because obviously I don't want that bad boy getting damaged. Up next is a Great American Bash 2004 Batista figure in the white and red right here. It's incomplete, actually, Backstreet Boys style. But, uh, you know, it still looks good. I like this. This is one of my favorite Batista gears of all time. Just such a clean gear. I hope we get this from Mattel one day. Next up is a much better version of the WrestleMania 33 Randy Orton. Is it WrestleMania 33, man? Holy crap. So zooming in here, man. You guys know that Mattel gave this to us, but it looked nothing like the gear. So BEW hand-painted itself with the snakeskin and stuff like that. 
that. This looks way more accurate to what it looked like. It was brown, bro. It was not that ugly, like, black, non-existent garbage. Next up is my white fantasy attire Alistair Black figure right here, man. This is beautiful. Uh, I think I just painted an NXT Elite, and then I just kept the gold and black design, and then I put some Elite 45 Rollins knee pads on there, and then put Shelton Benjamin kick pads with Elite 45 Seth Rollins lower legs to make him a little bit taller. Love this figure right here, man. This is also a classic. Next up, we have the Defining Moments Custom Elite Spider-Man Cedric Alexander figure, and he is a bloody mess, because this is his attire from Hell's Gate, if you guys remember that, and it may have been slightly changed. I may have switched out the, uh, the sleeved arm there, and the blue kick pads for the red ones that he wore at the event. I could be wrong about that. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I did make this like custom fantasy attire Spider-Man gear and it looks beautiful. He wore that at Hell's Gate and uh, he put on a great show in that MDT Live MDT Championship Chamber match. Man, I love Cedric. Next up, we have a WrestleMania 31 Randy Orton with this custom screaming head sculpt. Looks better than the damn Ultimate Edition, Brad. But the red gear, can't believe we've never gotten this from Mattel. Another one we need from Mattel, but it is a custom for now. Next up is a early 2000s Chris Jericho, which is so beautiful beautiful, man. This is one of my favorite nostalgic childhood gears that he ever wore is the black and yellow and silver, like, shock gear or electricity, whatever the hell, lightning. I don't give a damn. It's sick. Another video we should do is ranking every custom in my collection because this 05 Jericho would be up there, man. Look at these damn tights with the silver dry brushing in Jericho. Uh, this was made by Showstuffer Custom Figs. What a freaking piece. How have we still not gotten this from Mattel? I mean, I know why we have it now, but when he was under contract, this was an easy go-to 05 Chris Jericho. Look at that hand paint job, man. Jesus. Next up, we have this other Chris Jericho with a probably better torso, to be honest with you, but I think I got this off of eBay or something for really cheap, so yeah, just another Jericho. You guys know I love Jericho, so I had to go ahead and plug that one in. We have another MDT Live KO. I actually prefer this one, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. You guys can let me know. Are you Team Kevin Owens Live, or are you Team KO just just plain Jane. You know, let me know down below. Next up, another Defining Moments pick fit. We got the Hell's Gate Kevin Owens. Kevin F. and Owens in like the like Hell attire with the orange and everything like that. Custom shirt on there. What a beauty right here. I love this, man. Any like thing that happens with a pick fed, like where it's like a defining moment. I keep it like it is, man. He's a bloody mess. It's a defining moment. We keep it there, man. Next up, we have the beautiful Punisher Prince Devitt figure right here, man. This is a classic on the channel. I remember unboxing these like they were yesterday and now I'm at two days. I've moved twice since then, man, but this is a beautiful piece. I always hold this one close to the best. An interesting Finn Balor right here, man. We have the green attire right there, which is very cool. It's like the St. Paddy's Day attire there. Got multiple different greens on there. I'm pretty sure I never sealed this, so yeah, that's that's good. You need to seal your stuff, Brad. This next figure, I'm pretty sure, like, I, like it's just fantasy. It's just black and gold, the animal right there. It's just a black and gold Tista, man. I mean, this is literally all this is. Nothing special about this one. I believe this one was made by Mac Decals. We have the pink and black and white attack ricochet with Bret Hart boots just because I put those on there because they look really clean with this gear, but this is a very nice custom. I like the pink and white. It's got the white sleeve. Very clean. Next up, we have this fantasy gear by my boy Rodney. You got the pink, gray, white, and black. Dude, some of these customs I bet some of you have never seen, and then some of them are ones that you maybe have, you, you haven't seen in a long time, so this is very clean. I always appreciate my boy Rodney. He used to hook me up all the time with the custom Finn Balors randomly. That was such a blessing. Next up is Armageddon 2003 Purple Gear Randy Orton. Very clean right here. BEW knocked this one out of the park. Still can't believe it. This is another one. I don't know how we don't have this from Mattel just yet. Next up, Brad, we do have another Chris Jericho. Another one of my favorite gears ever. I think I based this on, like, his, that old two-pack, man. I can't even remember... It's a really old two-pack with this green, like, silver X's, X's deal going on. And then we use a Elite 20 head sculpt, which is kind of unique. And then he's got the mutton chops on there. Very classic right there, man. This is all nostalgic for me, Brad. Next up, not even a custom. Just, a, you know, I just wanted to put the Elite Champion in there because he deserves it. But that is a custom Elite Championship right there. But this is just the Supreme Kenny Omega, pretty much. But yeah, I had to protect my champion. Next up is another Randall Keith. I mean, what would it be without another Randall Keith? And I'm sure we got plenty more, but it's just a black and red gear. I think this is from, like, 2012, 2013, if I'm I'm not mistaken, and I think it's a defining moment, but I can't remember exactly what moment that is supposed to be at this juncture. Next up is this Royal Rumble 04 Crispin Wall Custom Elite that I actually got from the wrestling shop in Texas when I went up to San Antonio for the Royal Rumble. Huge shout out to all of them over there, man. They're great people, and I appreciate them for the hookup on this Benoit, man. This is one of my favorite wrestling memories as a kid, watching my favorite wrestler, one of my favorite wrestlers, win the Rumble, man. I was such a big Benoit fan. Next up, we have this teal and black Randy Orton, very clean. 
mean, any custom Randy Orton you see in here was either made by me or BEW. This is beautiful. I think this is from his feud with Christian. This is a great piece right here. Very clean. Next up is the Elimination Chamber. I think, what, 2017 or 2018? The blue and black Finn Balor. I thought we'd get this from Mattel as well, but it's got the shoe details in there. Very clean cut. I'm pretty proud of this one, damn it. Did that one myself. I think this is one of the only women's figures you'll see in here, but this is like a custom, like, sculpted Lita that's got, like, the chest enhanced, and uh, this is a, just a rated R Lita right here. Pretty cool right there. I wish we would have gotten this from Mattel as well, but, the, you know, the last one got canceled, I think. Or did it end up coming out in the Royal Rumble line? I can't remember. Next up, we have another fantastic one. We have the Abe Lincoln custom here in the Dean Ambrose base body, but it looks just like Abe Lincoln. This is a Shawn Michaels head sculpt that BEW did. It looks so damn good, man. He knocked it out of the park. Brought the Founding Fathers to life. This is a custom Randy Orton based off of the Shooting Star Press RKO that he did on Evan Bourne. You guys can see he has no wrist tape. And then he has the army green, black, and green trunks there, man. This is such a sick-ass custom. Look at that bald head, Brad. What a beautiful looking piece. Next up is a Aleister Black Elite. Way before we got the one from Mattel, I had this made by Mad Reaper. Fantastic job on this, man. I think all the tattoos are hand-painted, or at least the back tattoo is, but this is a very good custom for how, uh, you know, we didn't really have a base for it. Next up is another Lita. We have Team Extreme version this time with the zebra print top and the panties showing right there. Very clean custom right here. Showstopper Custom Figs knocked that one out. Love this one. I don't know if we... I don't think... We, we've gotten one Lita that was kind of a base Lita, but we need a, you know, a more extensive Team Extreme Lita. Next up is one we finally got from Mattel after years of waiting. It is the Peach Randy Orton Trunks from SummerSlam 04 where he won the world title, even though this is more accurate. This is the one that BEW made me. They weren't orange, man. They were like a peach peachish pinkish orange like a like a I don't even know what the hell to call it but it was definitely not what Mattel gave us but at least we do have the moment in figure form we have this black and silver Randy Orton right here which is pretty clean black and silver you guys can see the glimmer right there that is absolutely beautiful right there I love that right there man, that, man that'll make you happy and just like the elite champion I went ahead and put the Iron Man champion in there we have the Iron Man champion Cody Rhodes right here let's go ahead and get a zoom in shot of the championship that is a beautiful title belt, man. Look at that right there. Somebody should defend that or something. And speaking of champions, we have the, lo and behold, MDT champion. Look at this man right here. What a beautiful... This is the best Roman Reigns figure ever made, man. Look at that head sculpt. Mattel, where are you at, dude? Look at that head sculpt. This is a beautiful Roman Reigns. Best Roman Reigns head sculpt I've ever seen. Another day, another Randy Orton. We have the... Uh, is this payback? It's like the silver gunmetal gray style gear with a custom head sculpt right there. Fantastic. Fantastic tights right here. Dude, look at that right there. That is so damn clean. Next up, we have the Money in the Bank Balor? Am I am I right about that? It's like the shimmery, like, Balor Club. You know, it's got, like, the silver dry brushing over the navy, and then it had, like, red on it. This is such a damn good figure right here, man. Look at that right there. This is all by yours truly as well, man. I did all the, the Finn Balors for the most part besides the one, like, the demon ones. I did some of the demon ones in here, but the, like, non-demon Finn Balors were mostly by me or Rodney. Next up is Royal Rumble 2017 Randy Orton, where he did win the Royal Rumble, and I predicted him to win there. It's got the like the metallic orange and black. Nothing too crazy here, but I like this formula for Randy Orton. Pretty damn nice. Dude, I love getting to see these Randy Orton's, man. They were up on the shelf that I couldn't get to for a long time, so now getting back in there and actually getting to see these guys is really nice to see, man. You get to, you know, like, again, relive memory lane there, walk down memory lane. And speaking of which, we do have this red and silver version of Batista from, like, the early 2000s there, which is pretty cool. And this might be his Royal Rumble win, and we may be getting this from Mattel, I'm pretty sure. So there is that Batista figure. Next up is our No Mercy Finn Balor here, which is beautiful. It's got the gray and the white there, and then uh, just a bunch of different gray tones. I remember this match like it was yesterday. He took on Bray Wyatt. Not a good matchup, man. It was not a good match whatsoever, but the figure looks dope. So that's something we can agree on. Beautiful looking figure. Next up is a Demon Finn Balor from NXT that was made by Paj Customs, and this detail is unbelievable, man. Man, look at that right there. I think this is Posh. I could be wrong about that, but look at even the eye on the back. This is all hand painted, man. He absolutely nailed it. I love this Finn Balor. Reminds me just of that classic demon Finn Balor. I wish Mattel would go back and give us more of these because, dude, look at that formula, man. This is the right Finn Balor formula, not those small Daniel Bryan ass legs. Have you seen his thighs, Brad? Have you seen his thighs? A truly ridiculous custom. We have the NXT TakeOver, the end black, gray, and white demon where he took on Samoa Joe in the steel cage. Took the muscle buster off the top rope to beat him, man. What a deal. We got this in basic form from Mattel, but never got it. In, in, you know, elite form. I think they could do, like, a throwback NXT line would be really sweet to see, but 
This is great. Made by Showstopper Custom Figs. That is one that I hold dear. I guess we're just in the Finn Balor portion. Because we have another Finn Balor right here, man. And I cannot remember. I think this is when he showed himself to Seth Rollins or something like that. I cannot remember, man. Off the top of my dome. But I don't even remember who made this. But it's another beautiful Demon Finn Balor Elite, man. Look at the cleanness on the paint job. Let's break up the fins and bring in George Washington using a Bret Hart head sculpt. I looked at a Bret Hart head sculpt one day and I said, you know what? This could be George Washington. It looks just like him. And then I sent it to BW and he brought it to life, man. Look at that head sculpt right there, man. This is one of my favorite figures in my collection just for the simple fact of how unique this is, man. You ain't gonna see another George Washington custom figure right here, man. He's got the hatchet, the classic tights. He will beat the hell out of you, Bradley. Another Rodney custom, we have the white and gray fantasy attire here with the white shirt on there, and this looks clean as hell, dude. Look at that right there, man. Dude, these, these are so awesome. I love these figures. Custom shirt, too. Just chef's kiss. Next up is a fin that I did myself. It is the WrestleMania 35, like, Empire State sort of, uh, you know, it's got the Statue of Liberty, the teeth on the ribs, the crazy demon on the back. I remember, like, this was yesterday, but everybody was making this figure there. Man, I love a good demon fin back. Balor, man. Should have beat Seth Rollins at SummerSlam. Another beautiful Finn Balor demon, and I know we've kind of been on a stretch of demons here, man, but they look so damn good. They look so good. So, so good. I believe this is the Super Showdown attire. Look at that right there, man. Excellent work. Next up is the Joker Prince Devitt there. Beautiful looking head sculpt on there, made by Showstopper Custom Figs. He even has the Armani Exchange tights and logos on there. Very detailed figure, man. And he even has the sculpted, like, prosthetic makeup on his face that, you know, Fergal or Finn Balor or Prince Devitt was wearing at the time. Well, damn, I've been looking for this figure. We have my Fix Up Greatest Hits Elite Seth Rollins cash-in figure with the custom belt on there. Still not done, obviously, because of the move, but the double joint arms, the chest hair, head sculpt, sculpted gloves, sculpted gauntlets, sculpted belt made by Dan Turnquist. You have the beefier thighs, the more accurate knee pads, the more accurate kick pads. This figure is going to be immaculate when I finish it, but for now, it is still incomplete, but that is a damn, that is, I forgot that was in there, man. I thought I'd just put it in the Seth Rollins box. Next up is the Carnage Prince Devitt, or, you know, just Wrestle Kingdom. Is it Wrestle Kingdom 7? Or Wrestle Kingdom 11? Finn Balor or Carnage Fergal Devitt, Prince Devitt there in the purple. This is a beautiful figure as well, man. He's worn so many great body paints over the years. Then there is our promo Roman Reigns with the man bun and the fade. Another bit. This is, a, this is the second best Roman Reigns compared to the... You know, the MDT champion version. So then you have the wrestling version and you have the promo version. So they have the same beard sculpt, same fade, all that different jazz, man. Look at that right there. Get in the ring, damn it. We have another Seth Rollins. It is my custom fantasy gear the idea that I had that I sent to Burnt Out Inc. And this, like, black, blue, white, gray style gear right here, man. I love this. Even though it's on the old formula, this is still... Very, very clean. Chase has some of the best line work and the cleanliness paint you'll find out there, man. Another Prince Debit. We have the Anti-Venom Prince Debit. One of my favorite gears he's ever worn. Again, the white. You guys know how I feel about that. It's just so damn clean. You have the blue on there. Oh my God in heaven. I remember when people were painting Mizdows like this. But this is the accurate, you know, formula and everything with the Cody Rhodes and different stuff. I had to buy like 20 Elite, 20 Cody Rhodes figures to make these different Finn Balors back in the day. Because we didn't have an official one and... I think the only one we have was the Elite 41 Finn Balor. Another classic is the Freddy Krueger Prince Devitt with the complete with the NECA Freddy hand right there with the glove and the sweater with burn marks in it and the head sculpt and hat and everything, man. Dude, these are such a good part of the collection. I need to get them all in a detail for something, but these are so damn clean. God, I love I love Finn Balor and Prince Devitt, man. A longtime favorite figure on the channel. It is the Punisher Seth Rollins, another idea that I had here. I need to start bringing these ideas back to life, man, because I think a lot of you guys appreciate when, you know, I, I put something original out in the tank that's just, you know, cooking up above, and then I have an idea, and I just go for it. This is what this is. You know, I love the Punisher, so I brought it to life with Seth Rollins, met those two there together with the black and white gear. This is a badass figure, man. Even though, again, it is the old formula, they're single jointed arms, and a lot of figures in this, that's how you know these customs are older, because all of them have the older arm articulation and stuff like that and the older formulas, but here is probably everybody's favorite custom I've ever made. It is the Hell's Gate Buzz Lightyear Seth Rollins with the Space Ranger logos, man. This came to me out of nowhere one day, and I said, dude, I gotta make this happen. You know, I've always been a huge Toy Story fan, a huge Buzz Lightyear fan, and then I looked one day, because my son's room was Buzz Lightyear, and I looked at it one day, and I saw the SR, and I said, holy shish, we can make a Seth Rollins, and he even has, like, the 
the custom Rollins nameplate and entrance vest. I love this figure. To top it off, you have the entrance head sculpt, or not the entrance head sculpt, but the new like sculpted head sculpt on there. Unfreaking believable, man. I love that one. That'll always be special to the channel for sure. And this one's pretty cool. We have a promo gear Dolph Ziggler made by Mad Reaper. He's even got the skinny jeans and the chucks on there. Then he's got the shirt with the jacket. He's got the shirt with the jacket, man bun. And on the back of the shoes or somewhere, I think it says like MDT on it. So this is a freaking classic. Getting to the bottom of the box, man, we have the Spawn Prince Devitt, which is another clean one. And I don't have every single Prince Devitt attire that he's ever done. It is a goal of mine long term to get, but I don't know, man. It's definitely something I want to do. Like, it's just not priority right now, but there you have it. You have the... Spawn Prince Devitt, which is also a great attire. And then finishing up our Prince Devitts, it is the Venom Prince Devitt with the sleeve. And it's got the Venom symbiote taking over right there, man. Look at the teeth coming through. Oh my god in heaven. What a fantastic figure, man. Yeah, they just don't make them like this no more, do they, Brad? They don't just make them like this no more. I got the Armani Exchange, got the knee tape underneath. Oh my lord. I need to make another order to show Stopper Custom Figs, get some more Prince Devitts, man. Just gotta get the right formulas. And then to round out our box here, man, I didn't want to like go like 20 Zigglers in a row here like one by one so I will do like a panning shot though and I'll just go through each figure individually we do have the MDT Ziggler that my boy Rodney made me we have this zebra Hollywood heel attire this is one of my favorite gears he's ever worn these actually back to back this light blue gear right here he wore on TV I think one time but it was mainly like a live event gear and if Mattel ever made it, I, I would lose my mind. That's one of my favorite gears he's ever worn. This is also one, dude. These are just so damn clean. These are made by Showstopper Custom Figs as well. Just such nice figures, man. These just look unfreaking believable. Custom hairpiece in there. I think it's like a Shawn Michaels hairpiece, but the formula, the tights. Oh my god, dude. These look so clean. Then you have like the 2016 like DZs all over gear, which I thought for sure we'd get an elite figure for. We have like a fantasy white gear right there. Extreme Rules 2016, I think is what this is. It's either 2017 or 2016. I think it's 2016, but when he took on Trash Corbin, this is one of my favorite gears he's ever worn as well in the white and pink zebra. The guy that made this, like, kind of disappeared off the face of the planet. I hope he's well. We have SummerSlam 2016 Dolph Ziggler in the silver. We did get this in basic figure form. This is when he took on John Moxley, you know, Dean Ambrose, and that figure match. And that match right there was awful, to be honest with you. I was so bored. I don't know what the hell was going on with that one. We have the cash-in fix-up Dolph Ziggler. Way better than the Elite 24. I love the way that one looks. Messy hair, like cash-in style. He's got like the silver dry brush. And this looks so much better than the original. We have this like kind of fantasy gear based on an Elite 19 Ziggler with black tape and stuff I made. We have the MDT Ziggler here made by Venomine Figs and BEW there with the zebra and the MDT logos on it, which is great. And then over here we have a couple more pink gears and then I think this is his No Mercy gear from the match with The Miz where he won the IC Championship. One of my favorite WWE matches of all time, I think. I just love Ziggler, so that's probably why. You also have this gear up here. Another Hollywood, you know, Hollywood Hill crew attire in the bright pink, like fuchsia. And then we do have like another 2016 Ziggler with like his hair pulled back. And then we have the Money in the Bank win right there with the headliner black, pink, blue gear, which is very sweet as well. So we ended it off with the Ziggler collection right here, man. God in heaven. what a, One of my favorites of all time. And I had an opportunity to meet him at San Diego Comic Con. That could be a story time. I completely dropped the ball on it like a complete damn fool. But one day I will meet him. No, seriously, I had a full opportunity. Like, but with the other meet and, meet and greets happening... And like the rush of the day and the panel, I completely forgot. It's a whole story for a whole nother day. But that is going to wrap up this video, man. I took out every single custom out of the big box, as you guys can see. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Before we get out of here, a huge shout out to our patron supporters of the MDT YouTube channel. I always appreciate you guys. You guys are the absolute goats. If you guys are interested in becoming patron members, check out the link in the description below. But here is the, uh, look at this. This is all the customs, like, lined up for the love of Jesus, man. Yeah, long way to go in the office, but we're getting there, man. Got the, got the table set back up, so we're, you know, we're getting there. But that is going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.